Hey then everyone, Juan Romero here from Switchwatch back with another comprehensive list. This time we look at the best open world games on the Nintendo Switch. These are the very top. I've tried to put as many great ones as possible on this list. And we're going to start off with Red Dead Redemption. The arrival of this absolute masterpiece on the Nintendo Switch marks a monumental occasion for open world gaming on this platform and as players step into the boots of John Marston they're transported to the vast and immersive world of the American Wild West complete with sprawling landscapes, bustling towns and untamed wilderness. The game's open world design seamlessly blends breathtaking visuals with dynamic gameplay allowing players to freely explore the world and engage in a variety of activities. If you like poker then this is a for you. From hunting wildlife, participating in intense shootouts, to undertaking epic quests and forming relationships with the colourful cast of characters. With its rich storytelling and immersive atmosphere, this has an unparalleled sense of freedom. On the Nintendo Switch, this offers an unforgettable experience. Before we get into Kingdom Come Deliverance, I want to thank our executive producers that continue to support us on a monthly basis. Their names there on the right hand side. Now, Kingdom Come Deliverance, another great open world game, medieval RPG transports players to the realistic and immersive world of the 15th century in Bohemia. And what sets it apart is its commitment to historical accuracy and realistic simulation, offering an open world experience unlike any other. From the sprawling landscapes to the bustling villages, every corner of the world really does feel authentic. I love this one. Players must navigate the complexities of a feudal society and engage in intense battles. You've got to make crucial decisions here that shape their destiny. Kingdom Come Deliverance is a real testament to the power of open world gaming to transport you players to another time and place while offering a rich storytelling and of course immersive gameplay. Now Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon we featured a number of times but it fits our open world list towering monsters and ancient secrets dragon's dogma dark horizon delivers an open world experience which brims with adventure and discovery and the game's expansive world is really ripe for exploration has hidden treasures to uncover formidable foes to conga conquer let's do the conga and dynamic encounters that keep players on their toes i love its innovative pawn system which allows players to recruit ai companions and strategize in battles. Now, Nia Automata, the end of the Yohar edition, is set in a post-apocalyptic world where humanity is on the brink of extinction. Here, this game offers hauntingly beautiful uh, open world, I'm gonna say that word a lot, and is emotionally resonant in its visually stunning game. The game's seamless blend of action, packed combat, thought-provoking storytelling and philosophical themes make it a standout title in this arena. As players navigate the desolate landscapes and diverse cast of characters that they encounter, they're drawn into a narrative that explores the nature of humanity, consciousness and existence itself. Love this one recommend this to all let me know in the comments down below at the end of this video one if you enjoyed it and your favorite open world game by the end dragon quest builders 2 combines the beloved dragon quest universe with the creative freedom of a sandbox game dragon quest builders 2 offers a charming expansive open world experience unlike any other and players here are tasked with rebuilding civilization in a world ravaged by darkness gathering resources and constructing buildings and interacting with quirky characters along the way now the game's open-ended nature encourages experimentation and creativity and is also also multiplayer as players shape the world to their liking and embark on quests to restore peace to the land with its colorful vision charming characters and this addictive gameplay this particular game is a delightful game that makes this particular list even more exciting for you no man's sky when it first came out was in a pretty dreadful state but testament to the developers who kept updating it and we get the game that we have today which is a fantastic 
uh, game a testament to the boundless possibilities of procedural generation in open world gaming with a universe that spans billions of planets each with its unique ecosystems creatures and landscapes no man's sky offers an unparalleled sense of exploration and discovery i must say you can just lose hours and hours to this one whether you're charting uncharted territories trading with alien species or engaging in epic space battles the game offers endless opportunities for adventure a must-have if you're in to the open world exploration what can we say about grand theft auto here's the trilogy consisting of a grand theft auto 3 vice city san andreas redefining the open world genre set in the standard or immersive and expansive game worlds from the gritty streets of Liberty City to the neon lit beaches of Vice City and the sprawling landscapes of San Andreas. Each game offers a richly detailed and vibrant open world environment to explore if you like stealing cars and stuff like that then this is for you. Whether you're embarking on story driven missions or those side missions you can cause chaos to your delight here with its iconic characters memorable missions and groundbreaking gameplay. Divinity Original Sin 2 is a critically acclaimed RPG and here you have a deeply immersive world experience filled with rich storytelling, complex characters and strategic gameplay which is set in a fantasy world of Revlon. Players are thrust into a narrative driven adventure where their choices shape the course of the story. The design here encourages exploration, experimentation with hidden secrets to uncover, challenging puzzles to solve and epic battles to conquer. Whether you're engaging in intense combat, forging alliances with NPCs or embarking on quests to save the world, this offers a deep and rewarding experience for RPG fans. Immortals Phoenix Rising from Ubisoft draws inspiration from Greek mythology. It offers colourful and vibrant world experiences that are filled with humour, adventure and exploration. And here you assume the role of Phoenix, a young hero tasked with saving the Greek gods and reclaiming the Golden Isle from the clutches of evil. The game's open world design encourages players to freely explore the lush landscape, solve puzzles and battle mythical creatures. It has engaging combat dynamic storytelling and indeed charming characters. Crosscode. Now I really love Crosscode which blends the best elements of action RPG, classic 16-bit gaming and delivers a compelling open world experience set within a virtual reality MMO. Players assume the role of Leah, a player trapped in the game world of Crossworlds and as she embarks on a journey to uncover the lost memories and unravel the mysteries of the game, the game's design seamlessly integrates exploration, puzzle solving and of course fast paced combat. It offers a satisfying blend of depth, accessibility with its retro inspired visuals and engaging storyline. You can get any of the Saints Row games and have a good time, but I've chosen Saints Row 4 re-elected to include in this list, which brings us over the top open world chaos to this portable platform, which offers players an unparalleled sandbox experience filled with absurdity and mayhem. If you like Grand Theft Auto, then I'm sure you'll love this a little bit more cartoonish. And as the leader of the third Street Saints, players navigate the virtual simulation of Steelport and complete with superhuman abilities and an arsenal of outlandish weapons which are really fun. Here you're encouraged to explore the city's vibrant streets and take on outrageous missions and wreak havoc on unsuspecting citizens. It's tongue-in-cheek humour, endless customization, and addictive gameplay makes this a must-have. The Outer Worlds arrival on the Switch brings its captivating sci-fi world to handheld players, offering a richly detailed open world experience filled with choices and consequences. Set in a distant future where corporations rule the galaxy and players embark on a journey to uncover the dark secrets of Halcyon Colony. The game's open world design encourages exploration, discovery, vast landscapes to traverse and characters to meet, moral dilemmas to navigate with its deep storytelling, compelling characters and its gameplay. It does offer an unforgettable experience. Just be careful because it doesn't run always the best on the Switch. Which brings me to Burnout Paradise. This is a little bit different if you're into your racing. Burnout Paradise remastered released on the Nintendo Switch is an adrenaline fueled playground and offers players the ultimate 
for high speed mayhem. I just love crashing, to be honest. Set in a sprawling city of paradise, players can tear through the streets in a variety of iconic vehicles, from sports cars to motorcycles, as they compete in exhilarating races and complete daring stunts too. Here you're encouraged to explore and experiment with hidden shortcuts to discover and challenges to conquer and its online multiplayer modes are here for you to enjoy. Of course, this list wouldn't be an open world list without the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. And here the epic fantasy world carries on in portable form if you want. As a dragonborn player's journey across the province of Skyrim, embarking on quests, slaying monsters and mastering powerful spells and abilities. Here you get to explore of course, loads to discover as with most of these games. There's vast landscapes to explore, ancient ruins to uncover, and dynamic NPCs to interact with. Very rich storytelling, immersive atmosphere, one of the best on this list for sure. Subnautica Below Zero. The release on the Nintendo Switch plunges you into an icy alien ocean teeming with mystery and danger. I really love this one. It offers a very unique world survival experience and it's beautiful as it is harrowing. Set on the frozen planet of 4546B, you must navigate treacherous underwater environments, gather resources and uncover the secrets of the alien ecosystem vibrant underwater biomes to explore, creatures to encounter and technology to discover. You can also build your own underwater bases, which is great. Absolutely love this one. Unforgettable. Next up, we have Minecraft on the Switch with its iconic blocky world building gameplay for you handheld players. It offers endless possibilities for creativity and exploration and whether you choose to build towering structures, embark on epic adventures, or simply explore the procedurally generated landscapes, this design will offer you players out there unparalleled freedom and flexibility. It's charming, retro-inspired visuals, intuitive crafting mechanics, and a multiplayer support. It offers a timeless experience that really never gets old if you're into this type of game. Terraria 1.4's arrival on the Switch brings its beloved sandbox gameplay for you players out there. It's got a richly detailed open world experience filled with adventure and discovery like most of the games on this list of course. But here it's set in a procedurally generated world and you must gather resources, craft weapons and armor and battle fearsome creatures as you explore vast underground caverns and towering mountains. Now the visuals might not be for everyone but look past that and there's a rich game here for you to enjoy it. There's loads of exploration, creativity, hidden treasures to uncover, dungeons to conquer and bosses to defeat. With those retro inspired visuals, addictive gameplay and endless replayability, this is a real unforgettable experience. Sonic Frontiers, I did it a little bit whether to add it to this list, it's not everybody's favourite game and you know the reviews were mixed but I still managed to find some enjoyment from it. If you can get it at a cheap price then give it a go if you're into Sonic. Dynamic world to explore as the iconic blue hedgehog here is set in a sprawling landscape filled with lush forests, towering mountains and futuristic cities and you'll embark on an epic adventure to uncover the mysteries of the enigmatic Starfall Islands. Now this does have an open world design, encourages exploration of course with a fast paced platforming action and it's pretty exhilarating with the speed based challenges. There's boss battles here too and I do really like the visuals. I just don't think it runs the best on the Switch, but nevertheless, if you can get it for cheap, then it's still a good game to try. Now, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was the first game that I bought on the Nintendo Switch, and one that has stood the testament of time in my view. It's a breathtakingly beautiful, immersive adventure set in the Kingdom of Hyrule, and as Link, players must embark on a quest to defeat the evil calamity Ganon and save Princess Zelda. Now, I really did enjoy this. You get to explore a vast and diverse landscape filled with ancient ruins, towering mountains, and lush forests. And here you also get to solve a number of puzzles, countless secrets to uncover and enemies to conquer. I really love the cell shaded visuals here and the weather system. And of course, the gameplay mechanics are second to none. If you love Breath of the Wild, then The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom 
continues the legendary franchise tradition of delivering an unforgettable experience. You embark on a journey through the enchanting kingdom of Hyrule again, and you're immersed in a world bringing with lush forest towering mountains and ancient ruins. Design here, of course, encourages discovery, hidden secrets and challenging puzzles to discover, and of course, lots of epic battles. Stunning cell shaded visuals again, captivating storyline and gameplay mechanics make this an absolute must if you're into adventure. Now here's a game for our younger audiences and families alike. Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles brings its whimsical charm to the Switch, offering players a serene and enchanting landscape to explore. Set in the vibrant world of Jamia, players must embark on a quest to restore harmony to the land by uncovering magical sprites and banishing the mysterious murk that threatens to engulf the kingdom. Dying Light is for those of you that are into your horror. It delivers an intense and immersive survival horror game, offering a thrilling experience filled with tension and adrenaline pumping action set in a sprawling urban landscape overrun by hordes of ravenous zombies. Here you must scavenge for supplies, craft weapons and navigate treacherous environments as you struggle to survive in a world gone mad. Here you get to explore, you have strategic decision making and a dynamic daylight cycle that affects gameplay and a free running traversal system that allows players to navigate the city with fluidity and precision. A short hike is charming and heartwarming and offers a delightful experience that is uplifting as it is relaxing. Set in the idyllic island of Hawk Peak Provincial Park, players assume the role of Claire, a young bird on a quest to reach the summit of the island's highest peak. Along the way, players can explore the island's picturesque landscapes and interact with quirky characters, embarking on side quests and uncovering hidden treasures and secrets an absolute gem that you should not miss on this list now starlink battle for atlas it's been around a little while now but an excellent game where you get to explore the vast reaches of the atlas star system and engage in epic battles against the forces of the evil emperor grax this is set in a procedurally generated galaxy teeming with alien worlds and you must assemble a team of fearless pilots and customize starships to combat Grax's forces and liberate the galaxy from tyranny. Absolutely love this one. If you haven't played it yet, an absolute must play. Don't Starve brings a unique and atmospheric survival game to handheld players, offering a hauntingly beautiful experience that has a number of chapters with open world elements set in a dark and mysterious world filled with bizarre creatures and outworldly landscapes. You must scavenge for resources, craft tools and shelter, and of course fend off deadly monsters as they struggle to survive against the elements and the encroaching darkness. Here we have procedurally generated environments that offer endless possibilities for discovery and danger. If you love eerie soundtracks and unforgiving gameplay, then this one is for you. Now, Green Hell's release on the Nintendo Switch plunges players into the heart of the Amazon rainforest. Scary. It offers brutal and unforgiving or open world survival experience that tests your ingenuity and resilience in the face of nature's wrath. You must navigate the dense jungles and swamps of the Amazon and you must contend with hunger, thirst and disease. So if you like your open world games with a little bit of survival, or should I say a lot of survival, then this one will be for you. Now Ashen is a beautifully crafted open world RPG set in a world shrouded in darkness and despair. You must forge alliances and seek out the source of light that will bring hope to the land. It's set in a vast atmospheric world filled with ancient ruins, towering mountains, lush forests, and you've got to explore the land, complete quests, and engage in intense combat encounters as you unravel the mysteries. Really love this one. It's uh, 
unique passive multiplayer system as well that allows players to encounter and assist other players on their journey. Now, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 continues the beloved RPG series tradition of delivering an epic open world adventure filled with rich storytelling, dynamic characters, and of course, breathtaking landscapes. And it really is very good on the Nintendo Switch. Of course, you get to explore, discover secrets, vast landscapes here to traverse and challenging enemies to defeat. So if you love your games with RPG elements, then this one is definitely for you. An unforgettable experience that will captivate you from start to finish. Now, if you're enjoying this video, ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe, hit that bell notification. We're going in to our last couple of games and this wouldn't be a great open world list without The Witcher Wild Hunt, which is an absolutely stunning port on the Nintendo Switch. Another game with RPG elements offering a sprawling and immersive adventure in the dark and dangerous fantasy world. As Geralt of Rivia, players must navigate the war-torn land of the continent. You've got to complete quests here, engage in intense combat encounters as you hunt down the source of the mysterious and deadly wild hunt. You will have hundreds of hours of gameplay here and a branching narrative that responds to your actions and decisions. Love the visuals, the complex characters and the deep lore. This offers an unforgettable and is an absolute must have experience on the Nintendo Switch, which brings us to our last game of today, which is Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. Here you've got a captivating open world RPG set in the vibrant and dynamic world of Monster Hunter. As a young monster rider, you must embark on a quest to uncover the mysteries of the legendary Rathalos and prevent a catastrophic event known as the Wings of Ruin from destroying the world. There's lots of discovery here, beautiful landscapes, formidable monsters to battle, and loads of hidden secrets. It's charming, engaging gameplay mechanics, and deep customizable options make Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin an absolutely must have on the Nintendo Switch. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still watching, thank you so much. You have no idea how much that means to us. Really appreciate it. If you have the time, we'd love you to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to that 100,000. We're only about 3,000, 4,000 away now. So to all of our existing subscribers, thank you so much for supporting us over the years. To anyone that's new, hit the subscribe button, bell notification so we can let you know when our next video goes live. Once a week, Jordan will let you know all of the physical releases coming up for that week on the Nintendo Switch every Monday. So that's an, a must watch, so don't miss it. And in between that, I love doing these lists for you to let you know some of the best games that you can get on the Nintendo Switch in any given genre. Lastly, if I've missed any open world game that should be on this list, let me know in the comments section down below so our other watchers can read that too and I'll do my very best to respond. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and I'll see you again on the next one.